There's blood on its whiskers. It's not blood. That's snossages. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Either that or you just mauled a mountain lion. Come on, Gus. Mr. Spencer. What are you saying to me? I'm saying there was a bottle of it in a medicine cabinet prescribed Wednesday. You wonder why he had on that long sleeve shirt in the heat that first day? Oh, my gosh. That dog did have blood on its teeth. I told you it wasn't snossages. <laughs> you know, Sean, I, I just thought you were a little better than this. Just a little. All right, what is this? You know where he is? Of course I do. While you were playing with light squishies and ordering breakfast, I was investigating a case. I see. Regardless, for time lapse, I set it for one frame per minute, so everything moves faster. 30 then... times faster. 1,800 times faster. I knew that. I was testing you. Sure you did. Okay. You saw all those comic books in Malone's room? You're 18 years old, you have a ton of cash burning a hole in your pocket, and you love comics? Where else would you go to spend your disposable income? Thanks, Sean. Gosh, I apologize. That's brilliant. What? I think there's a body in the back of that truck. <laughs> Gosh, it's not a body. It is. That's a hand. She ordered a nail protein solution. So she has weak peeling nails. No, genius. The billing address is her father's place, but the delivery address is someplace else. Nice focus, Gus. Sweet fantasy island, that is a body. I told you. Wagner got to eat out at fancy restaurants every day on the newspaper's dime. If I was him, I'd be happy. I mean, who wouldn't want to have that job? That's a good point. That's a really good point, Gus. I think you're right. We were wrong about the chefs. Remind me who it was that set up our psych 401k? Oh, you mean our 601ks? Because India doesn't have 401ks. It's a growth economy, Gus. We've already made like 500 rupee. That's $13. I guess that would make more sense. So I was right. Old Sonora was never being vandalized. At least not deliberately. Clearly I agree with you. Guess which kid got the winning word from 1953? He's staring at his father. Honors is right. This is a fortress. We need a plan. I don't think we can exactly just ring the buzzer and ask to peek into Mr. Crocker's medicine cabinet. I don't know, Sean. I know I'm right on this one. Let's think this through. Hey, is there any reason a $100 bill would change colors? Actually, yes. It's an effect caused by color shifting ink. It's only present in $100 bills. The changing color is called color diffraction, and it's made possible when light reflects off of metallic flakes added to the ink. I'm Edna Crocker, and you are one minute away from a squad car ride. Probably ought to let this one go. Yeah. No, Sean. What I'm saying is those other lodge members were hardly overwhelmed with grief. Even as Holmstrom lay on the floor, I was shamelessly moving my product, and no one seemed to think anything of it. I'd say Holmstrom had some enemies. Well, we gotta figure out who they are. Which one? Ducky, where are you? Is this the same guy? Good work, Gus. This is good. The latch is broken. And she fell backwards. Scary Sherry took a swan dive. Exactly. Gus, you're on fire. Thank you. The copycat suicide angle literally goes out the window. What next? A guy at work showed me how to take an email address and get his owner's real name. I start by using an email header to trace back to the original IP address. Look, he's writing in some secret ancient code. No, this isn't code. They're abbreviations. HX means history. QD means every day. C means and. Deposit history. Follow up with accounts every day. Transfer and withdrawals. Sean. I don't think Juan Carlos died of a heart attack. I only got to see him for a second, but I'm pretty sure he had bloodshot eyes and his body was totally stiff. That's a reaction to a tranquilizer or even a poison. Something affected his nervous system. Thank you, Dr. Pratt. You think Lassiter's gonna just hand us over a case? Stop, let's think about this for a minute. Gus, come on. What? We're gonna roll up our sleeves, we're gonna get a little bit dirty, and we're gonna do some old fashioned police work. Wow. Looks like somebody beat us to the rolling of the sleeves. No. What are you doing? What? Hey, this is our case. He's naked. We gotta work the room. I'm gonna work it from the outside. You're gonna work it from in here. Now shut the door. Work Jester for a second round of this nightmare. The necktie around the waitress, that's straight out of frenzy. I mean, we're clearly dealing in themes and motifs. Him knowing we were here last night, our clues are gonna be found in Hitchcock films. It's very good, Gustus. Okay. We've got a lot of cinema to cover. Gus and I will take the Cannonball Run series. Bingo! He interrupted the plan. OK, look up there and see if you see a notch. You know, th that would steady a gun. A notch? Yeah, like a notch. It should lead us to the intended target. That's not a notch. That's a notch. The 
hospital tent. Dude, I think I got it. Hi. I made a pick up a prescription for Mr. Crocker. Mort Crocker. Uh, one moment, please. Thank you. See? She listens to me every once in a while. That's not fair. I don't have access to medical files and doctor's names. Sean, I called two pharmacies while you were being interrogated. I don't have... How would I check in? I'm not on parole. You told her you'd call. Look, you can't be a usual lackadaisical self in this relationship. Abigail is the kind of girl that needs a certain amount of effort. Relationship, Sean, needs to step up his game. <laughs> you wish you had my acute observational skills. You wish you had my focus. My attention to detail. Attention to detail, please. They photographed his tattoos. Look at this one. It looks handmade like a prison tattoo. Bar. It could be a girlfriend or an ex. We can cross-check for women named Barb or Barbara who may have run in his circles. He could be hiding out with her. Are those directions to the convention center? I found it in his wastebasket. Gus? What? You're a genius. No big deal. You'd be working a case without me. You've worked tons of cases without me. Yeah, because I knew I could solve them. Are you saying I can't solve a case without you? No, I'm not saying that. Because if we've learned anything over these few years, it's that you really can't do it without me. 